Show Racism, the red card was established in 1996 and delivers training to over 50,000 individuals every year. The campaign aims to tackle racism in society by using the high profile status of footballers to help educate young people around the country. And Liverpool FC do their bit by hosting an annual meeting where kids from Merseyside gather to listen, question and discuss all issues surrounding racism. This is a progression of the educational network of Show Racism a Red Card. It has a long history with Liverpool Football Club and this is an event that we put on annually here at the club and uh, we bring in young people from uh, primary schools across the city. These things are always good, we should have them a lot more often because it's easy to come down and help the kids. This is the future and if we can get it across now with kids in school and you know um, hopefully eradicate racism at that level then that'll carry over to their adulthood and you know that that's what we're all working towards. We're just really trying to educate ourselves as well because we're learning new things what's happened in the past and what we've been doing in the future and we just want to help that. 130 children from 23 different local schools were shown a video about the initiative before being offered the opportunity to quiz members of the panel about their career and experiences. During the Q&A at the Centenary Stands Champion Suite, there was an important message for the kids from Premier League referee Chris Foy. If you come out with a racist comment at a football match and it's heard by a police officer, you will be arrested. Because Merseyside police work very hard with that, as do Liverpool and Everton. Because racism has got no place in society, so that's how serious now being taken. There were many thought-provoking questions from the children on the afternoon with the best ones receiving prizes in the form of signed shirts. I asked them if when if people are racist to them are they doing it to be horrible or are they like doing it for a laugh to impress people or hurt people's feelings. Some of them just like have to deal with it but I don't think they should deal with it. I think they should do something about it. I learned that racist is not nice because you can go get bullied, get hurt. I already knew that racism was a bad thing, but I've learned even more now and how serious it can get to and what levels it can get to as well. It's not a good thing to do or a good thing to say. And uh, if someone was doing that in one of our teams, then I'm sure, I'm sure every single player in the team would tell them what was right and what was wrong. For us to come down here today and see all the kids and for them to ask us questions like they did was fantastic because it already showed that they do know about it. Do you know what I mean? It does need to be kicked out of footy and out of social life itself. The key messages to get across from today would probably be to say something if you see something. Um, it doesn't do anybody any good if you just stand by and watch something happen. Um, it doesn't do well for your team and it doesn't make people feel good. What we do hope is that they can take the message back to their own schools and, um, and pass it on to to other youngsters within the schools and within the communities.